Hello and welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3. My name is Classic Tim, and we are in the jungle again, not because we were looking for the jungle, but because I was just looking for a floating island. I made myself a bunch of these meteor shots, um, which bounce off walls, as you can see. They bounce off walls when you hit them. So they really make it really easy to find floating islands by shooting up in the air. Just a couple times. And eventually... There we go. I guess, it, I guess it's more over here. They start raining back down on you. That means that they're hitting something up there. Um, and in this case, it's a floating island, probably. So, um, I've got myself a gravitation potion here. So I'm going to go ahead and drink that. Then, I can flip the world upside down. And... There we go, here's the floating island. And I can flip it upside down again once I get up here. And there we go! That's the easiest way to get up to a floating island, that's for sure. So let's open this up. And we'll close that and see what we get in this chest. We got a shiny red balloon, increases jump height. Okay, we'll take that. I think that we can combine that with the uh, cloud in a bottle. So that that's pretty good. Um, we got recall potion, a shine potion, some iron bars, and nothing else good. Um, that's a good item to have. I just hope we don't get a duplicate of it because it's not that good of an item to have. Um, I'm really just hoping for the uh, the item that negates fall damage. I should forget what that item is. Okay, but now that I have this potion activated, I can kind of just fly around. So I'm gonna teleport back home because I went that way. Um, originally to look for this floating island, so I'm gonna, just gonna kind of float the other way. Am I, am I going the right way? Oh man, it's really disorienting. But if I kind of fly around this way now... Yep, I was able to come across another one. I knew I would. Um, they're pretty common. Um, is there nothing on this floating island? I don't think I've ever seen a floating island with nothing on it. Okay, well, that's disappointing. There's nothing on this one. All right, well, we'll just keep moving this way then. And hopefully find another one. We're about at the right height. I have to be careful not to go too high because I, I believe that the... Um, actually, no, that's probably just in hard mode. The uh, wyvern or whatever it's called will spawn. All right, looks like we got another island here. Whoops, almost... Which way, which way is up? Which way is up? Okay, I'm upside down right now. Come on up this way. Um, is this another empty one? Well, that's disappointing. I hope that there's not going to be a ton of these empty ones. I've got two islands down already. Alright, well, I guess I'll just keep moving. That was a pretty good trick shot. <laughs> Um, we've got only 36 seconds left on our um, gravitation potion here now, so we might actually have to create a new world to continue looking for floating islands if if those two floating islands are the last the last couple, and then you know we're empty after that. Um, yeah, I don't have any more gravitation potions unfortunately, so we'll just have to build up the next time I get. Uh, get to one, because we're about out here. That's unfortunate. Let's get as high as we can. Oh, I should not have done that. I have nothing left to, to stop myself from hitting the ground. Okay, if we can just time the grappling hook right, we'll be fine. There we go. Um, so this is new crimson. I don't think I've been to this crimson yet, because we're pretty far away. Um, actually, I have been here. I just haven't gone inside of it. Well, I guess we could probably look down here a little bit. I'm not sure what else we'll find. I think we've got pretty much everything we can from the Crimson. Um, I suppose there's probably some, maybe some more hearts down here. Yep, there's a heart. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and break it? I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything I can. And we got another Crimson Rod. Oh, this one might be a better one. Yeah, this one's better. So we'll, I guess we'll replace that. So I guess that was worth it. 
Okay, well, I guess I will just have to continue looking for floating islands here. I really want that item. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I found another one here. And as you can see, I'm wearing my balloon now. I've combined it with the cloud in a bottle to get cloud in a balloon. And it actually, I'm actually holding it. So that's kind of surprising. If you don't like that, you can actually shut it off. Um, okay, I'll leave it on for now. And it looks kind of looks kind of funky, but I'll keep it. All right, and we got the brisk lucky horseshoe, which is exactly what I wanted. It negates fall damage. Um, that's exactly what I was looking for. And so we also got a sky mill used for special crafting. What kind of special crafting? Uh, nothing I can see so far, but I'm sure we'll need that in the future. But yeah, we'll take this, and we can combine that with at least one of these things. Um, we'll take off the tire climbing gear right now. And we'll just loot the rest of the stuff. So yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I can easily just jump down, not even worry about my fall damage. And plop. That's what I like. I'm going to see if I can find just a couple more here. Um, I think there's a couple other things that you can get off of these floating islands that I might want. So I'll keep searching, but I'm happy that we got um, what we wanted really quickly. So I'll be back after we get a little bit more. Okay, welcome back. So I was actually able to combine the horseshoe with the... Uh, balloon and the cloud. So now we've got the blue horseshoe balloon, um, which is pretty cool. So now we've got all those um, in one, so we have lots of space left over. And you've probably noticed that I am in the corruption now. Um, I've logged into a new world. I went around and looked around for some more floating islands. I found a couple, but I only found another um, balloon. We got a shiny red balloon this time, so I guess if we wanted a red one, we could get it. Um, but looks like we got a heart crystal right there, which I will take. At 340 life, almost maximum for right now. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple things in the corruption that I wanted to see if I could get. And so I figured, you know, why not do it now? Um, the light pet for the corruption, I think, is a little bit nicer than this guy. Uh, this one tends to really jump around a lot, um, which can be kind of annoying. Alright, so we got a superior musket. Wow, 36 range damage. My bow only does 27. We might be using this musket. What's the speed on it? Very slow speed. All right, well, let's, let's see what that speed is. I don't know, that's pretty fast. Oops, clicked off the screen. Aha, but I did not crash. Okay. We're going in slow-mo and we're back to normal, okay. That's definitely much, much better than uh, just totally crashing. Yeah, but that thing took care of that thing pretty quick. Alright, let's see if we can get down here. Alright, what do we got this time? The Band of Star Power. Alright, well, I don't really need that right now. I don't even use any mana weapons. But it looks like we've got another heart over here, which I'll grab. Thank you. And there we go. To 360 now. We're getting there. And let's drop some more down here. How would this summoning guy, uh, this bee, actually is really nice. He kind of takes care of the runts that just um, I don't want to worry with. Okay, so after we spawn, after we use this one, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the Eater Worlds is going to spawn, right? Um, if we can hit it. I can't imagine the Eater World is going to be very hard um, with our current setup. He's pretty easy, easy to dodge. Yeah, I mean, compared to the Brain of Cthulhu, the, um, the Eater World is a, is a cinch. Well, it's probably going to trap us here. Yep, let's get this down. Let's put some torches down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, this this gun does so much damage. I'm sitting here doing 40s on it. 78. 96. Oh man. I think the corruption's way more powerful than the uh, the corruption gun. I mean, at least 
is way more powerful than the crimson gun because that pistol that I got wasn't that strong. This, you know, we're doing a lot of damage with this. That cloud's actually helping a lot too. Now, granted, we are quite a bit stronger. I'd be interested to take this thing. Wow, he's already dead. That was much easier than the brain. All right, so we got some gold there. Um, did we get anything special? We got some demonite ore, which isn't going to be too valuable for us. Junk. What is that? Do you know what? Like, see those sparkles? What is the sparkles? Oh, they're gone. Okay. Um, didn't look like. Doesn't look like I got anything special from that. Just the shadow scales and the demonite ore. Well, let's let's throw down a couple more here, and see what else we can get from the corruption. I think the bombs got stuck on the demon altar. Alright, so now we've got... Down here. Um, an awkward musket, which I don't know why I would use. I mean, this one's incredible. So, yep, I'll just ignore that one. That's the second repeat in a row there. We already got the uh, another band of star power. Sorry, it's a little dark. I don't want to light this place up since I'm just kind of going to be running here. And another life crystal we got. 380. We only need one more to get uh, maximum health for right now. Alright, there's definitely some more orbs over here I saw. I put down these campfires so that way we could see a little bit better, but I ended up just running away from them. Okay, so we've got one right here. There, and we actually have one actually right below us here. Is this the third one or the second one? This is, I guess that's the second one. Quick band of star power. Another band of star power. Not what I needed. I don't even have any magic weapons. Alright, well, let's throw this down some more. Get another one of these. What if you can do anything? Oh, there's the inner worlds. And Vile Thorn. Actually, I remember this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this Vile Thorn is actually really good on the um, Theater of Worlds. So where is it? Let's get it out of here. Alright, because it does stack damage. Oh yeah, look at all those hits. Uh, it's not doing too much damage though, so I'm not sure which would be better. Well, I mean, that's a lot of damage. Because um, our gun is kind of like one-shotting him. 47, 41, 47... Man, that does so much damage. I don't know why I'm doing so much damage. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this musket's even better. Even if it doesn't do the stack damage, it's just doing so much damage in general. Oh man, that sounds pretty amazing. Alright, what's our DPS? 173 at the moment. I should probably be using that to actually see which one's better. Well, that was quick. Oh yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Corruption's a whole lot easier than the Crimson. Um, did we get anything special this time? Nothing. A lot of ore. Um, nothing special, though. I know that he does drop special stuff, just like the Eye of Cthulhu. You know, he dropped this um, Eye of Cthulhu mask. Um, oh wait, what's that down there? Oh, it's a jellyfish necklace. necklace. That was from a jellyfish. What does this do? Provides light underwater. That's nice. Not a whole lot of light. Uh, maybe we can combine that with another accessory, though. Yeah, because it doesn't do it when we're not wearing it. Uh, but yeah, we can combine that with something else. That'd be pretty cool. Because um, I know that un being underwater, having light underwater, is pretty important. And not a lot of stuff actually works underwater that actually gives light. Like this light pet does, but he's always bouncing around so much. Um, we can actually just hit this with the hammer. Alright, and what did we get there? Did I pick it up? Nope, my inventory is full. Um, I can go ahead, trash these rotten chunks. Um, trash the grenade, trash the knives, trash the rope. Did we really get another band of star power? There is stuff here that I that I actually want, and I'm not getting any of it. Um, I did want the Vile Thorn. That's, that's one thing I wanted. 
because I wanted, um, first of all, a magic weapon and something that can hit through walls, which this can do. All my bombs are wasted. Down we go. All right, and it's another band of star power. We got one, two, three, four, five bands of star power. I think we're like three in a row now. Um, I don't know if we're just that lucky or if it's just a coincidence or if they're actually that common. All right, we got two more down here. So that's enough to spawn in another Eater of Worlds. Why are the bombs rolling that way? Ow. It'd be pretty sad if I killed myself with my own bombs here. Yeah, I'd really like the light pet, and I'd really like, um, the theater worlds. Um, so we got another musket, unfortunately. Um, we can't get much better than the... I'm doing over 200 DPS with this thing at the moment. Um, let's just start using this and see what, how much damage we're actually doing with, uh, the gun. 207, 258... Yep, I think the Vile Thorn is having higher DPS, so we'll go ahead and use that. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's not all in one area, so he's not splitting up as fast, but overall, we're doing more damage. There we go. Doesn't stand a chance. I think this is a record for the most boss fights in one episode, that's for sure. Um, anything special this time? Probably wouldn't be able to pick it up if I did. So let's just I'm gonna throw away these and throw away that, throw away that, throw away that. We already have a sky mill. Throw away the extra torches. Actually, I can stack those there. All right, so let's... Um, can I dig through this now? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's dig down and see if I can pick up anything special here. I'm surprised we aren't getting any special drops. Because, you know, I could get... I got the, um... I got the face mask and everything from the Eye of Cthulhu. I know that the, um... Uh, the Eater of Worlds has some special stuff, too. Yep, we just got another musket. Um, what's this one at? Musket. 32 range damage. Yeah, so it's not better than the one we are currently sitting at. Can't do much better than Superior. And we got another Vile Thorn. No buffs on it. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'm kind of disappointed here. I uh, I expected some better stuff. Got a meteorite landing. That's not a big deal. I'm going to be deleting this world after I'm done with it. I'm going to wait just a little bit too long on my bombs. And what did we get this time? Another Vile Thorn. I'm really waiting for that Light Pet now. Um, I don't want to get rid of these muskets because they actually sell for a lot. Actually, I forgot I have this piggy bank that I can drop some stuff off in. Uh, where do you go? There we go. All right, so let's just drop off all these bands of star power because we don't need them. We'll drop off the jellyfish necklace, some of the other repeated items. Um, we'll drop off that. Yeah, that's good enough for right now. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any more orbs here. Yep, that looks like the end of the corruption. Well, I guess I am going to create a new world with some more corruption. And I'm not going to bother filming that. It's going to be the exact same thing as what I just did. Except hopefully we get some better drops that aren't duplicates. And... If I do, I will meet you there. Okay, welcome back. So I actually ran to the edge of the map here looking for some more floating islands. I did find one, but I, we just got another one of the uh, horseshoes. But I did get the, the shadow orb from this corruption I found at the edge of the, the map here, which is the light pet that I wanted, so I can go ahead and replace this, um, the Crimson Heart. And now we've got this guy who floats around us instead of does that crazy bouncing thing. Um, this thing's not as fast, so if I, you see I'm walking, it, it trails behind me. Um, that doesn't happen with the, the heart. The heart keeps up with you more, but I think I prefer the, um, the steadiness of this one. 
it, it will teleport you to to you if it, if it gets too far away. Um, and what else did we get? Oh yeah, we also got the angry anklet of the wind, which is a 10% increased movement speed. And this may not be that big of a deal right now, but um, I can combine that with some other stuff and make it really awesome. Also, there's a sleeping angler in the, in the water here. Let's see if we can wake him up. <laughs> there we go. You saved me. You're awful nice. I could use you, or I mean, totally hire you to do some awesome stuff for me. Quest. In the forest, the slimes are kind of gross. Slime fish are even more so. I don't want to swim with the slimes. So yoink one out of the water for me. Caught anywhere. Okay. Um, I wonder if he's an NPC that you can get on the main world, because this isn't my main world, so if we just unlocked him on this world, then that's not going to mean anything on my world. Um, but either way, that's pretty cool. I guess you can get fishing quests, which is interesting. And since we're here, I figured, you know, might as well kind of go into the water here a little bit and see if we can't get anything from the chests down here. Anything that I haven't gotten yet. I would like to get some diving gear. Um, nothing there. I still have that fin on me so I can swim. But there's some diving gear that really increases the amount of time you can breathe underwater, and you can combine it with the um, uh, the fins, so that would be a really cool item to get. Um, not yet. Um, is there another chest? Nope, doesn't look like it. So, let's... I'm going to teleport back. Um, we got that chest. And that's it. Okay. So I'll teleport back here. And I'm going to go back to my main world. And right after I get this chest down here. Uh, nothing. Don't know what I expected from that wooden chest. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my main world, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, welcome home. So, with the um, anklet of the wind that I got, plus the aglet, plus my Spectre boots, which is the rocket boots and the um, Hermes boots, we can create... where is it? The lightning boots. There we go. Allows flight. The wearer can run incredibly fast. So this has a massive speed bonus, plus the Hermes. Okay, well, that was interesting. I did not click off the screen. In fact, I didn't do anything. I just started running away with my boots, and my game crashed. Um, no error message. In fact, the entire Steam client froze and crashed. I had to restart Steam from scratch, so... Yeah, maybe Terraria's got some updates they need to do, or I need to do something. But either way, um, I lost my boots. Um, I'm back to Spectre boots, and I have the anklet of the wind here, but my aglet is missing. It's not in the accessories chest. I checked the other chests. It's not there. It must have gotten deleted somehow, um, which stinks because that was my only one, but they're not totally uncommon, so I can probably just make a new world and get them again really quick, so I'll have to do that. But before we go, I also want to sell some of the duplicates we have to the merchant here. All right, so we don't need any of this Demonite Ore, and it sells for an incredible 43 gold, 68 silver. That's amazing. I thought it was, I didn't know it was going to be nearly that much. Um, and then the Shadow Scales aren't nearly as expensive, but man, that's insane. 43 gold just off of those fights that we did. And then if we open up the piggy bank here and take out a bunch of the duplicates that we have, um, take the balloon out. Actually, I'll save the balloon because there's different colors. Um, I don't need the lucky horseshoe. I don't need these vile thorns. Um, uh, we can keep the boomstick. Don't need that musket. Okay, so then we can sell kind of some of this junk. I know that muskets probably sell for quite a bit. Yeah, just over gold each musket here. Um, the horseshoe, 54 silver. I'm going to save the horseshoe. Um, we can sell the vile thorns, though, and hopefully these are expensive. Yes, they are. One gold apiece. So we'll sell all of these. And what was the, the other one I have in here? 3% melee speed or 4% movement speed. I think 4% movement speed is going to be better considering it's a, a magic item. So we'll open up the shop and we'll sell that one. Alright, we'll save on to these things for sure. Alright, so now if I open up that piggy bank again and restock... No, quick. Quick stack. 
We are sitting at one platinum, six gold, 94 silver, and 83 copper. That is a lot of money. I'm happy to see that. Um, we can definitely buy some incredible stuff now. I really did not think that the Demonite Ore was going to sell for quite that much. But before, uh, one, one last thing. I wanted to see if we could combine any other other of these um, things we got. So let's see what we can do with the horseshoe. Um, yeah, we could just combine it with the obsidian stuff, but we don't need that because we've got this, which cannot be combined into anything else, so that's its maximum form. Uh, so we go to Inklet of the Wind. That's just for the lightning boots, which unfortunately we messed up. Um, let's get our pig out. And we'll take out this balloon, we'll take the star power band, um, and then the jellyfish neck necklace, see what they can combine with. Okay, so first, band of star power, band of regeneration, band of star power makes the mana regeneration band, increases maximum mana by 20, increases mana regeneration rate. Um, so it does not regenerate health, that's kind of interesting, I was hoping it would also do health, so that's kind of... Um, not that great. Uh, what else can we do with the balloon? Cloud in a bottle, blizzard in a bottle, sandstorm in a bottle, or balloon. Fart in a balloon, what? And the honey balloon. Increases jump height, releases bees when damaged. Um, I already have that here. Releases bees when damaged, so I don't think I can use both of them at the same time. So we'll take that out and we'll probably go with that for now. But yeah, the jellyfish necklace I'd be interested in. Jellyfish diving gear. Diving gear and the jellyfish necklace. Grants the ability to swim and greatly extends underwater breathing. All right, so that's interesting um, because the arcane flipper, or just the normal flipper here, and the diving helmet make the diving gear plus the jellyfish necklace. That would be a pretty amazing. That's pretty much um, complete mobility in water plus longer breathing plus the ability to see. So we really need to get that diving gear. I might search around for that um, a little bit before next episode. Um, but also, I will, I'm going to start building some more houses here because we're all filled up and working on the storage a little bit here and working on my actual house here. So that's what I'll be working on before next episode, and I will see you guys next time.